right, so here we go. We're going to see how we can um, create the trade window in order to get two targets, one stop, and a move to break even when one of the targets is filled. Okay, so what we're going to do is let's get this out of the way, right? So let's clear it all out so there's no targets at the moment and start adding what we need. Okay, so we need two targets. So let's add one and add another target. Okay, so we have one target, two target, and one stop. We'll set this target, let's say, to um, just so we have some room to breathe, um, 10 ticks. And the second target, let's set it to 30 ticks. Okay? So the first target is 10 ticks, the second target is 30 ticks. The stop, we'll make that the initial stop 30 ticks away. And what we want to achieve in the end is that when this target is filled, the stop will move to break even. And we'll get to that in just a second. Now, the stop, we want to make it, um, yeah, just leave it like this. The stop is going to be one stop for all the OCO groups, and good. So now we have two groups. Target one is group one. You can see it down here. Target two is group two. We can see it down here with a quantity of five. The stop is for all the OCO groups, which is why um, we have it here for all, and that's that. Okay. So if I were to enter now we would see that, um, no, let's do that actually. Use attached orders, buy market. Okay, so now we've entered and we have one limit, another limit, and a stop down here, one stop. Okay, so that's that. Now let's flatten this. Now we want to add the move to break even. Okay, so the way we do that, um, we select the stop, and down here we want to start configuring the move to break even. This is the trigger, right? So in our case, we want to trigger it when the OCO group is triggered, right? So one of those groups. So we select that, and then down here I can select which group. In our case, we have two groups. Group one is the first stop, group two is the second stop. So we want when the first stop is triggered, we want this to move to break even. Sorry, when the first target is triggered. So that's this one right here. So when this is triggered, we want this to move. And our break even level is zero, so it'll move it just to the, exactly to the break even. Okay, so again, when the OCO group number one is triggered, okay, which is target one in this case, because this is the OCO group number one. We want it to move to break even with no offset, which is this. Okay, so now let's do that. And then we do a buy market again just to see it enter. Click OK. And there we go. Now we assume that whenever our first target gets hit. Let's move that down and see what happens. Wait for the market to tick up a tick. Oop. We got filled on the target, which bumped up our stop, and then we got stopped out immediately. Because right? it was just so close. Anyway, that's the idea. Just going back to this again, this is the configuration that's needed for uh, um, move to break even based on a target fill.